what's the handsome man group you guys got? What is it called? Team Handsome. Team Handsome. Yeah. All right, list off your your your, your Austin, guys. Dylan, and Alex Olson. All fairly attractive dudes. That's a racist fucking uh, team. Oh my God. Why isn't Terry Kenny in there? He's a handsome dude. I just put him in there. Likewise. That, see, now the first guy. You did it because you were pressured into it. Affirmative action. Yeah. <laughs> I got another funny story uh, with Thrasher, with Jake Phelps. I lip slid a 13 uh, when I was out there. And he was like, dude, well, I'll give where? you. And, and, and up north, sorry. Oh, San Francisco. San Francisco. Okay. He was like, dude, I'll give you the cover. You do this 20. Tried to do this 20. It's like downtown San Francisco. The famous federal yeah, building. The yes. famous federal building. Man. Have you seen that one? Which one? Oh, it's fucked. No, it's true. It's gnarly. Um, no. Tasha. Like the building. Tasha's Tasha's there, there, right? Right? Tasha's like, like, uh, get you gay. He's like, dude, I'll give you a thrasher cover. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, the next day if you do this 20, I was like, well, Man, I'm probably about 15. Like, mind you, I barely was able to do that one. Like, that one took me some tries. Yeah, like, I, so I'm like, Man. okay, 14 to a 20. So I'm like, all right, guess what? Thrasher, come on, I'm down. So, third try, try it, fall, knock the wind straight out of my side. <laughs> straight just clipped on the way up, foot hit on the way up, clip. Straight to the ribs. <laughs> All right. But you know what I have to understand? This was my welcome into skateboarding. Like, and then the next day he came to me and was like, hey, like you forever good in skateboarding. Like we, we got your back. Like, you know. And it's one of the moments where I was like, all right. And it happened to me with Transwell Thrashers, skateboard bag, everything. It's like you fall down the spot and they, after a while it's just like, dude, like welcome to skateboarding. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I got told that every, every time. And I was just like, damn, this is, this is real. This is fun, and at the same time, this is, this is real. Do you ever go back and land that? No, no. Don't fuck with that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it stays it's windy. It stays windy up yeah. there, too. So that was the problem, too. It was like, <laughs> everything was working against me that day. Yeah. Everything. The wind factor. Never stayed around that big before. Yeah. Like, everything. I was just like, damn, all right. Phelps like, watching. Phelps watching. I feel like you're landing, too. When you land, you have to kind of carve out to the sidewalk or something. Yeah, yeah, it goes into a wall. It goes into a wall. It's not even like that <laughs> much. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You go like that an alley. Do you feel like that's the one aspect of your entire professional career or life that's never let you down? Like, skate's yeah. always been there. Like, you can go off and do whatever and come back and, like, look, skate still <laughs> loves me. Yeah. The skateboard mag still loves me. The thrasher still loves me. Yeah. Right? Whatever it may be, um, still loves me. And my me. wife, well, talking to my wife recently, she was the one uh, who helped me understand that too more. It was like, man, at the end of the day, like your your culture and your livelihood relies on skateboarding. Right. So a lot of stuff that I, I do want to get involved with, I realize like it's not my path. My path is skateboarding. Right. And for me to go through, I went through some stuff recently too, which it was tough. And, to go through that and see who had my back and my family back was skateboarding. Right. So it's like, damn. Once again, like it never fails. Like skateboarding always comes through once you, you're loyal to it. You know, yeah. like as long as you're loyal to it, it's always gonna come through. Yeah. You know, yeah. you gotta be loyal to skateboarding. And every time I wasn't, I took a fail. I fall. And understand that too. Yeah. Cause there's a lot of people like when Musco did, dipped in the music biz for a while. Musco's at the peak of his shit, man. Yeah. <clears throat> and to think he could go and just transcend Jeremy. that. And Jeremy is, well, well Jeremy's well, an was, anomaly. Like I think, I think maybe he could. He was peaking too. He was peaking. It was right when he, he did amazing at Tampa <laughs> Pro, he got the face tat and then it, everything yeah, was crazy. Yeah, it's so crazy. Like, yeah. At the time, he was supposed to ride for Baker, and then I took his tape to Jerome Wilson and Stephen Williams. Before oh, Girl, you mean? Before Girl, yeah. No way. You're just hooking up everybody. Yeah, right? yeah you have a tape that's charging 10% on this shit. I should have, man. I think about it. That's some of that I'm Aston like, Martin man. money that he had. Jeez. Yeah, his but um, <laughs> we made him on a Baker tour, same way. We were probably like 15. Man, him yeah. on a Baker tour. We wanted to put him on a team. Andrew said it's. He had, it was too much energy. We had Knox, me, and Evan. It was a lot of energy, and he had a lot of energy, and we was like, dude, we need him. And we had Herman, sorry. So we was like, damn, we need him. Like, he, he was, but 
and like we just had a full amp team and we were just like already I guess enough a handful already so he gave us our tape I ended up giving it to Jerron Wilson and Jerron ended up like showing Stevie and all of them at the time and giving it to Mike Carroll and then Bowman he got on yeah. hey did you help Brian get on Baker Herman? yeah Herman yep yeah. took his tape to, um, to Andrew and um, Beagle yeah, we was at a trade show, probably, it was in Long Beach. Um, Wait, how'd you know Brian? He walked up to us then. Uh, walked up to us at the trade show uh, in Long Beach. It was, we were probably about 12. <sighs> and he gave you a tape? Gave me his tape, walked up to me, was just like, hey, Terry, like, I want to get on Baker. Okay, I got the tape. I'm like, all right. We walk. I said, man, just hang with me. Something about Herman... He was just, and it, and it made sense because me and him, we share similar backgrounds. He grew up in a, in a situation like I grew up in. So, before, me getting to meet him, like I already, I, something like I felt that. Like he, he just came up to me and was like, T man, like, I want to ride for Baker. Like he was just that confident. He was like 12. He was <laughs> like so that <laughs> confident, man. He was like, man, game is tape. So we kicked it all that day at the trade show. Then I said, okay, man, come back to, come back to the hotel, man. I'm going to watch your tape. I'm acting like I was a teenager. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, you're like, so like, you're like a year older than us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna go over the numbers. We're gonna crush the numbers. Right. <laughs> so funny. So yeah, I take the tape back. I'm like, all right. So I'm gonna look at the tape, man, and then you know, I, I let you. I go back. When you put the tape in, he was tail sliding Wilshire ten at the time. Yeah. We like, yeah. wow. Like, I only was at that time, I was crooked in Beverly Hills 9. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, damn, he tail sliding Wilshire 10 at this time. Like, went to Andrew, went to Beagle at the time, I was like, and Evan and Knox. I was like, dude, we're putting him on the team. I just had to make the second call. I'm like, I'm like 12. Like, man, he's, he's on the team. Like, Reynolds and everybody's like, man, well, he's. Everybody's like, I was just, I was so convinced off Brian Herbert to where I, like, I was like, dude, I told them, I was like, all right, well, he's on the team. And he was on the team that he's day, was like, and then that was it, man, like. Imagine if one moment when you were 12 dictated the rest, the next 20 that was years. It. Can like, I believe? Yeah, me probably getting beat up in school. <laughs> 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 Picked up. <laughs> no, here. Yeah. Dude, man, <laughs> doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> tell, tell that to right? my shrink. Damn, you just made me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? what do we say? I'm like, what do we say? Do you say something? Do it.